that's how you spell New York. I'm here to represent the lost art of geographical rule rhymes, which is just passing its centennial for um, being in existence in American culture. Um, I was introduced to it by, by my dad when I was about eight years old when he told me the riddle rhyme, knife and a fork and a bottle and a cork. What went along with it was this one. Chicken in the car and the car can't go. And that's how you spell? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> and it was as simple as that. And it went on like that in my memory for about 40 years. When I went to the movies, and I saw a scene of an old abandoned car in a field with, a, a, with straw in the back seat and a chicken roosting in it. And I thought, chicken in the car and the car can't go. So I wrote riddle rhymes for the 50 states. And I also later wrote riddle rhymes for the cities, the major cities. And that's what I wanted to present tonight. So it goes like this. If I say the riddle, the rhyme, you know the answer. It's not Jeopardy. You all know the answers, you just don't know which answer it is. So if I say some jobs have many applicants, that's how you spell which city? Which great city? Some jobs have many applicants. Minneapolis. <laughs> Or if I say, I think you're getting it. Sometimes I wonder, why am I me? That's how you spell Miami. Miami. Oh. <laughs> Don't just break it, destroy it. That's how you spell Detroit. Let's go on a roll. How's this? I know Lulu better than you do. That's how you spell Georgia? <laughs> Honolulu. 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 <laughs> Having done that one, I can now ask you, we'll walk a mile along Waikiki. That's how you spell? Waikiki. <laughs> <laughs> we'll walk a mile along Waikiki. That's how you spell? Milwaukee. I think you're starting to think poetico, poetico analytically, which is what this develops in us. It's a very important faculty. Don't you dare do it, Alice. That's how you spell Alice. Lost the way, ran out of gas. That's how you spell. Las Vegas. <laughs> Amen, he said, just for emphasis, that's how you spell. Vegas. Sometimes I can't see at all. That's how you spell. Seattle. Watching tons of TV won't take you far. Do you see? That's how you spell. Cincinnati? Watching tons of TV won't take you far, do you see? Washington, D.C. Ho, 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 does Santa say? That's how you spell? Ho, 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 does Santa say? That's how you spell? San Jose. San Jose. Go, could you shovel some snow? And that's how you spell? Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco? No. Uh, it's the only one that has, the words has something to do with the real city. <laughs> Before you go, could you shovel some snow? Chicago. And that's how you spell? Buffalo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the first of the months when I feel the wealthiest. That's how you spell? Uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> the first of the months when I feel the wealthiest, that's how you spell? 
feel the wealthiest. Philadelphia. My elbow swings side to side. Is that a bit quirky? And that's how you spell? Albuquerque! In days of yore, when they spied the shore, explorers cried out, Land Ho! And that's how you spell? In days of yore, when they spied the shore, explorers cried out, Land Ho! And that's how you spell? I can't get clues, so we're gonna leave oh, it there. Oh. At in the morning, you'll know it. Let me, let me just say this. Can you say it one more time, please? In days of yore, when they spied the shore, explorers cried out, land ho. And that's how you spell? Oh, land ho. Land ho. Land ho. teacher almost my whole life, I couldn't help but add something to this book in the back. I wanted to, because when I was traveling with my family and when I traveled throughout my life, I always would read the AAA guides <laughs> and find out little kernels of facts about the places where I was going or where I had been. So in the back of the book, I created city sketches, little, little you know, uh, portraits of the cities. And um, I'll give you one example. With Chicago, in 1837, it did not exist. It was called Chicago because it meant stinking onions, the place of the stinking onions in the native language of the, of the place. And it was just a portage between the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. However, because of its location, it became a hub for the railroads that came through. And this, of course, um, attracted immigration, and between 1837 and 1890, it went from not existing to becoming the fifth largest city in the world. I just found that fascinating, and so I did create these portraits, these city sketches. I don't really have time to go into all the city sketches, but I'm just going to ask you a few questions, which is like Jeopardy, from the city test. Oh boy. What is the only U.S. city to look south to Canada? Oh, no. U.S. city. Juno. No. It's actually Detroit. It is Detroit. Which city was settled in less than a day by 10,000 people by way of a land rush? Wait, what? Say again? The city was settled in less than a day by 10,000 people by way of a land rush. San Francisco? No. That was Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. Um, what city had a canal system that followed one dug centuries earlier by the native people? Erie. Erie? Phoenix. Phoenix. Anyway, that gives you something to look forward to learning if you read these city sketches. Um, and thank you very much. Wow. Howard Give it up. One more round of applause for Howard. I like that. And the book, and where can, uh, oh, you want to say something about the book here real quick before we move on? Well, this was the original book. Uh huh. Um, it's sold, you know, on demand publishing, so I have a lot of copies. And I'd like to give them out as a gift. Oh wow, um, wonderful, absolutely. Well, I'm sure we'll have takers here. Thank you, Howard, look at that. You get a free gift, a free book for coming out here today. How cool is that? Tessa wants one over here if you got an extra one. Yeah, there's a guy. No, you guys keep them, you guys keep them. Those are yours, you guys keep them. You guys, you guys keep them. He, I think he might have one more for you. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got one enough for everybody in here. Wow, that's fantastic, Howard, that's beautiful. Thank you, Howard. That's beautiful. I gotta get my copy too. Right? Thank you. And he was here seven years ago when he published this, so this is wonderful. How about another big round of applause for Howard Schrager? Great job, Howard. I love this. This is going right into my library here. All right, all right. We got two more people, and 